Okay, in this problem, we're asked to determine if the vectors v1, v2, v3 are linearly independent. And if they're dependent, we want to find a linear combination that causes them to vanish. So we're given that v1 is vector 1, negative 1, 0. v2 is 0, 1, negative 1. And v3 is 1, 1, 1. So we have a corollary that tells us that if the determinant with the columns as the vectors um, is non-zero, then our vectors are linearly independent. So we'll go ahead and create that matrix. And we want to calculate the determinant. And so we can use our properties of determinant uh, that tells us that the determinant remains unchanged if we set row 2 equal to row 1 plus row 2. And that will give us a 0 in the first column, second row. And so that transforms our determinant to One zero one zero one two and zero negative one one. And again, we know by the properties of the determinant that we can set row three equal to row one or row two plus row three, and our determinant remains unchanged. So our determinant transforms to. One zero one zero one two zero zero three. Now we have an upper triangular matrix, so we can use our properties of a determinant to tell us that our determinant is equal to one times one times three, just multiplying along the diagonal. So our determinant is equal to three. Or more specifically, or in this case, what we care about is that it's not equal to zero. So that tells us that our vectors v1, v2, and v3 are linearly independent. So thus, we can't find a linear combination other than zero times v1 plus zero times v2 plus zero times v3, such that they vanish.